if you think about um, Louis Armstrong uh, in those early days again, um, you mentioned he had a sister. Mm -hmm. Did he stay in contact with his sister? Yeah, he, he did. I'm not sure. I think she, his mother died when he was living in Chicago. Mm -hmm. um, and I think, the, I think the, the contact probably lessened. But he, he did. One of the interesting stories about it, this is a, an incredible thing. When he was very young, he adopted his, let me get this right, it was, would be his cousin's son. And he adopted him, and his name was Clarence, and he lived with Lewis mm -hmm. for, for the rest of his life. Mm -hmm. But he, he injured himself in some way in, in, in New Orleans. Clarence did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He fell out of a... It, it, what seems to have happened is he fell from a first floor and hit his head, and, and, it, and it affected him. Right. Um, but Lewis had adopted him when he was a teenager, mm -hmm. effectively, mm -hmm. which is an incredible thing for somebody to do. Right. I mean, just that, for anybody to adopt somebody is an incredible thing, but for a teenager, effectively, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't think that adoption was a formal thing, because back then, mm -hmm. probably wasn't that kind of formality about things, but he looked after him and, and cared for him for his, for his whole life, and, mm -hmm. and, and, which is an amazing thing, and, and he lived with, with, with him, and, but I think the sister. I think the, I think that was contact. But I think it was it was. You know, Lewis was on the road. I right, think right. it was just one of those things. Yeah. Whether we sent money, knowing him, he probably did. But mm -hmm. I, I've never, I, I never researched into that area of his his life. Did he have kids? No, mm -hmm. no. Yeah. So that was an interesting. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was certainly no saint. <laughs> I mean, that's one of the things about his life. I yeah. mean. He was definitely not a saint. Right. You know, he had a he had a number of wives, and I yeah. think there may have been some other ladies as well yeah, yeah. over the. But who knows? Mm. You know, who knows the detail of that? And if, if it was now, of course, mm. we'd have we'd have paparazzi following him and mm -hmm. stuff going on, and 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 strangely, I think it would have detracted from from him. Mm -hmm. he, he he wasn't a saint, but. That doesn't when he's playing his music, what's that got to do with it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, that's yeah. his personal life, and yeah. you know, now we live in a world where everybody thinks they have the right to know everything about everybody's life. I'm just yeah. asking questions, though, man. <laughs> 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 I'm curious. I'm curious. I'm like, yeah. I'll never get to ask these questions. No, 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 no. no I, I don't mean from you. I don't mean more in the. I mean more in the bigger sense. I mean the bigger sense. I, 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 you know, I mean the fact of the matter is, throughout his life, mm -hmm. he's he, he he smoked marijuana mm -hmm. every day. Mm -hmm. It was only latterly he stopped, mm -hmm. and he smoked marijuana and took laxatives. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a pretty bizarre combination. <laughs> um, the laxative was about his weight, and you know, muggles was about <laughs> you know, it perhaps helped him be happy. Yeah. But uh, again, who are we to judge? True, true. Let's let's go back to his performance yeah. and career. Now, did he write a lot of the compositions, or did he have writers like working with him? I think he was typical of that era where, you know, it was the old Tin Pan Alley kind of mm -hmm. syndrome where, you know, if you were a performer, people would come and sell your songs, right. effectively. You know, they, people would want him to sing their songs. Sing their songs. Mm -hmm. You know, one of my favorite 30s numbers of his is Hoagy Carmichael. He does Stardust. I think mm -hmm. he does Stardust beautifully. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a song called Eventide, which was Hoagy Carmichael. Wonderful, and I mean, he does those great Fat Swallow, you know, ain't misbehaving. I mean, it's probably, I mean, I love Fat Swallow, but I think Louis is, it's a tough call between yeah. the two of them. <laughs> I wouldn't like to say. There are 